out in many ways. So what's our duty here in America? Our duty in term, here in America is to give the people good news. Not say, oh, we're against bombing. Oh, we're against this. We're against Israeli bombing of the people. Now, this thing in Lebanon is very critical. And it solves a thousand problems in one. A thousand problems in one. One action. Number one. This is an act by the Hezbollah. The Hezbollah hit the Yahoo. Knock over eight of them, isn't that right? And take two of them hostages. What does that do? Number one, it shows the rest of the Arab world that these Jews ain't nothing. Bunch of sissies and cowards. If they can't push a button and get you, get up on them and get up on their clothes, right? They got that long range stuff. Well, duck under, duck the blow and get right up on them and start wearing old Zionist out, isn't that right? That's what the people is doing. They done got up under old Yahud and they kicking his behind. This broke the invincibility of Zionist might and power. Now I want you to be aware of before all the great boys drop, huh? First thing has to drop is their idea of invincibility. The rest of the world now sees the Jews for what they are. Vulnerable, isn't that right? The Palestinians improved it and now the Hezbollah. The thing about this move in Hezbollah, we have to look at it in global terms. What does it do? First of all, it neutralizes the great effort the Zionists and Americans have at starting Sunni, Shia, Fitna, rebellion in Iraq, fighting in Afghanistan, and all over that region, and including Pakistan, right? If you notice when they want to cause trouble, the Hindustani government will blow up mosques. Yeah, I mean the Indian government Indian intelligence will blow up mosque in Pakistan. This week it will blow up a Shia masjid. <laughs> right? So, any dumb Shia will think, well, it must have been one of them old criminal Sunnis that did it. Isn't that right? Then the next week they will blow up a Sunni masjid. Right? And they will say, the dumb Sunni, the dumb Sunni would think, oh, since some Shia blew up something last week, or vice versa, then it must have been the Shias that blew up our Sunni masjid this week. The people of Pakistan are getting smarter. They're not going for it. They're not going for it. Isn't that right? In Iraq, what do you hear on the news? They're always trying to start. Yeah, could you hit the, uh, the, the button just to get a little coolness in there? All you got to do is push it down. We don't want to burn the believers out of here. Okay, brothers and sisters, the move in Lebanon served a whole regional problem, actually a global problem. What did it solve? In Iraq, they have been trying very hard, you can tell, to start Sunni Shia Fitna, right? To start a civil war. That's why they, every time on the news, every commentator, is it close to civil war? Civil war there yet? Civil war next week? Civil war today? Civil war? They are praying for a civil war. Well, who would want a civil war? The same one that wanted it all over. The Americans and the Zionists. Is that right? Now, when Hezbollah see their brothers Sunnis, Palestinians in trouble, they say, and they do, they hit the Zionists on the other end like two opening up two fronts, isn't that right? Militarily, brilliant. Politically, sophisticated. Materially, as costly as you can get. You can't, look at here, you see what they say. The Israelis have bombed bridges. They've bombed headquarters. They've killed families. One uh, Alam's 
One imam's family was blown up and the lady, his wife, survived and she was reciting ten names, the name of her children that was killed. 